Hello, welcome back to the bloodshed. This is a project uh, that I've been trying to get on top of for quite a while, but I've just never seemed to get around to it. My um, my wife wants it for the kitchen, but obviously it can't go in looking like that. It's absolutely horrendous. Uh, what it is, is a Salter Milk Scales, and it measures up to about 38 pints by the look of it. So the first thing to do will be get the dial off. It's extremely rusted, so I'll just crack on and start rusting, de-rusting away. Surprisingly, those came out easier than I thought they would. This, on the other hand, I don't think will. that to soak for a bit right it's been a little while soaking uh, I've also applied a little bit of heat to it as well So the next thing holding it together is, should be four screws at the side, uh, one of which is missing, so we'll see how we go with those. So far, so good. All right, that's all four of them off. Come to resort for a there we go, that's much easier actually. A bit of leverage. And internal, everything seems to be looking in good condition, which again, I'm really surprised about. So the next thing will be to get this unbolted uh, and get this unhooked, which actually it looks as though there's a bolt there and a bolt there. And those appear to be held on or covered by that. So the next thing will be to get this and that removed.
one decent oak. Not sure whether you can see that or not. The lighting's a bit rubbish at the moment. It actually says. Get it into focus. Adjust. So those are two side adjusters. Turns out the adjustment is only on the one side, that side. Uh, again, I've had to resort to a bit of heat. Wrong way. There we go. Right, yeah, so that's just a hinge, effectively. Uh, next thing is get the top loop off that will give it a quick soak in uh, penetrating oil be going in for de-rusting and the next thing is to get the springs removed All I'm doing there is just writing an L and an R on it so that I can see which side it needs to go back into. Uh, I have already taken a photograph of that. So should there be any confusion, I'll know where everything's going. going to be leaving these little uh, 
bolts in place just so that I know where they go to um, when I'm reinstalling. And then obviously if I'm going to paint the inside, I'll just do it around that, but just so it's been painted. Uh, I do want to retain an original style of colour um, because this is what the wife wanted. And to be honest, it does look quite nice. So this is what I'll be hoping to achieve. Next thing will be to remove the adjuster, which is held on by two screws. the adjuster. The other side of the scales was held in, or the blank, was held in by these strange kind of screw rivet things. Uh, the only way to get them out was to punch them out, one of which snapped. So luckily uh, in my recent uh, job lot of old tools, I ended up with uh, basically a shed load of old rivets, steel and aluminium. So I'm sure I'll find something to replace that. Uh, also, again, I've written adjuster on that side, blank on that side. So I'll just remove this. has a screw in it for some unknown reason. It is an adjuster anyway. There, 